Now to Baltimore, where protesters have been scuffling with police today. In Baltimore, right now, it is a tense scene near the Camden Yards ballpark. Demonstrators are angry about the death of Freddie Gray, the 25-year-old who suffered a severe spinal injury while in police custody on April 12th and died a week later. Here's Mark Albert. The anger filled the street from curb to curb on Saturday. The crowd large and loud as they marched three miles to Baltimore City Hall. The protesters are demanding to know what happened to Freddie Gray, who died after a week in a coma. Police still have not said specifically why he was stopped or what happened after this now infamous video showed police dragging him into a van. 30 minutes later, he could no longer move or speak. Police Commissioner Anthony Batts admitted Friday his officers violated policy by not putting Gray in a seatbelt and ignoring his pleas for help. Our police employees failed to get him medical attention in a timely manner multiple times. Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake. The officers know better, uh, so the fact that they didn't uh, follow procedure uh, and we are here again uh, having to explain to a mother why she has to bear, uh, bury her child is uh, unacceptable. The city was already under a Department of Justice investigation for a series of police brutality cases stretching back years. We're in a state of emergency. Tawanda Jones' brother, Tyrone West, died after a struggle with police in 2013. The city decided not to prosecute the officers involved, and Jones is now suing. We are not the enemies. I'm tired of seeing this. It's too much. It's gone too far. And all I'm begging them to do is hold these cops accountable. It has been peaceful all day, including here at City Hall, but within the past few minutes, Protesters and police have clashed with bottles and cones being thrown. It's happening about a dozen blocks from here at Camden Yards, where the Baltimore Orioles play. Jim. Mark Albert reporting for us tonight in Baltimore. Thank you, Mark.